Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So after a month of Camp Nano, which I did not participate in because full disclosure, I didn't know exactly what it was. I have spent the last month watching all of these writing vlogs and I love them. And I don't know why. Why is it so interesting to watch other people work? I don't know. I'm sure there's something there. Maybe it's just nice to see other people struggle. But I decided I wanted to try making a writing vlog of my own. I've also got a new kind of, I think calling it a productivity hack is a little bit unfair. It's a book I read really recently that has helped me write a lot faster and a lot better. And I've kind of taken one of its biggest tips and turned it into something, altered it a little bit and made it work for me. And I've only tried it twice. So today I'm gonna experiment with trying to get 5,000 words written before noon. And right now it is 7.30. So first, get a little breakfast, then we'll try to do this thing. Anyway, so the book I was talking about earlier is called 2K to 10K by Rachel Aaron, how she went from writing 2,000 words a day to 10,000 words a day. And 10,000 words a day sounds ridiculous to me. I know recently there was a big 10K in a day challenge and hats off to you guys who did that because man, that's a lot. People have this, this perception that the faster you write, the lower the quality is. And I know that's BS, <laughs> but I just know myself because I've been doing this for so long and I have found that my my average, my good writing day is close to 2000 words, somewhere in that range. I can push to 3000 sometimes and I'm all right. A handful of times I've gotten in the four to 5,000 word range for a day, for a day's worth of writing and I can do it but I am so fried that the next day I don't write at all. So it kind of like negates itself. <laughs> but I was just interested to see like what strategies does she offer? And it turns out she has three really great tips. Write out a summary of the scene you're going to write before you actually write the scene. Identify what times of day you are the most productive and you might have to like track your productivity for a while to really figure this out. And if you find that you are not excited about writing a scene, then cut that scene from your book because nobody's going to be excited about reading it. Three solid, great tips. Thank you, Rachel. I have taken that first tip because it's the one that's been the most useful to me so far that I've, since I've started trying to do this and I've kind of made it my own. I think what she says, if I remember in the book, she's like, set a timer for five minutes and for at least five minutes, summarize your scene and then go. But for me, it's more like 20 to 30 minutes of telling. And then I go back and spend 20 to 30 minutes showing. So I have a tell version and a show version. And what I mean is that first time through, when I get to a new scene, I'm telling literally everything because it's very much like a stream of consciousness free write and I just dump everything out of my head. <laughs> and once I get to the end of the scene, I take a like five minute break and then I go back to the top and I rewrite it. And, and this time it's for showing. So what happens is I've gotten the mechanics out of the way and now I can focus on the artistry. And, and so that's like, you know, the prose, the voice, metaphors, similes, dialogue. The reason writing first drafts is so hard whether you have an outline or you're pantsing or whatever is because we're trying to do both of these hard things at once. We're trying to get all the mechanics right and all of the artistry in there at the same time. And our brain's like going back and forth between these two things and it's, it's a struggle. So just by cutting this out and only focusing on the mechanics and then you got that out of the way and now you can only focus on the artistry, even though it sounds kind of counterintuitive because you're kind of writing the scene twice it goes so much faster. I have a lot more to say, but I want to start writing. So let's get a quick session in.
Okay, so it is 10.30 and I forgot that last time I worked on this, I ended with a scene that I wrote that was all telling. So I started today with the showing part, which does go a little bit slower, but I started out at 14,500 words and now I am at a little over 16,000 words, so 1,500 words, which isn't exactly what I wanted, but I know when I get through this scene and I do the telling scene next, the words are gonna come a lot faster. But I have to take a break because someone is getting antsy. And when someone gets antsy, she crawls under my desk and starts whining and nibbling at my legs and it's really hard to write with that going on. So, time for another dog park break. Okay, we are back. We have had our dog park fun. Haven't we? Are you good? Are you gonna let me write? It is 10.52 and pretty much an hour to go. Obviously 5,000 words by noon is not going to happen, but I think that was a little bit overzealous of me. And if I'm being honest, this is my first time attempting to vlog while I work. Um, and it is a little bit time consuming, just like setting up the cameras and all of that and taking these little breaks to talk, but I'm not gonna use that as an excuse. If I was not vlogging today, there's still no way I would have hit 5,000 words by noon, so. <sighs> Rachel Aaron, one day I will catch up to you, but still, if I get to 5,000 words, I will be happy. So, let's see what I can get done by noon. Here we go. Okay, so the time is 12.12. 12. Definitely not 5,000 words, but I am now at 18,179. Well over 3,500 words, which is definitely a win for me in the morning. I'm gonna take a break, take the dog out again, have some lunch, and get back to it. I'm hoping that by two o'clock, my workday will be done. Okay, dog's been taken out, lunch has been had, tea has been made. Let's see what we can do. It is 1.13 p.m. I think I'm just gonna see what I can get done in the next 45 minutes. And hopefully it'll be close to 5,000 for the day. I could push myself till three o'clock. I don't know if that's what I wanna do. Hopefully I have enough momentum from a good writing session this morning to just kind of carry me through and get that last, what do I need, like 1,200 words to get to the 5K finish line for today. I know we all say don't play the comparison game and we all do it anyway, but really, if 1,000 words is a great writing day for you, then that is great. And if 500 words is a great session for you, that's great. The book I wrote that ended up finally getting me a literary agent, I wrote that in 250 word a day sessions. And sometimes I got some more than that, but usually it was 250 words because I was in the middle of this cross-country move and I had already written a book that hadn't gotten an agent at all and I had created it for a year and I felt pretty down on myself, so I wasn't super motivated. But 250 words a day got it done and it got me an agent. So really, it I'm not trying to make anyone feel bad at talking about word counts. There are writers out there who could crush me in daily word counts. Um, in the end, it doesn't matter. We all have to find our own, what works best for us, but that's really what I'm trying to do here, is find a way to be 
as efficient as possible and to write the best quality first draft as possible because again so much of what I do is IP work or private client ghostwriting and it's really vital that I I turn in the cleanest first draft I can. With my own projects I allow myself to be a little bit messier. Anyway, okay, I'm wasting time talking about this and I want to be done it too, so let's do this. Okay, I just spent way too much time trying to get whoa, that to focus, and I don't know if it worked, but I hit 20,050 words, which means 5,550 words for today. Okay, let's go over to where there's some natural light and not this blue screen glow. Okay, so two o'clock, done with my work day. I am pretty pleased with that. Thank you, Rachel Aaron. The fact that it's two o'clock and I have written 5,050 words and I feel good. Honestly, I could write for another hour, maybe even two, but I'm not gonna. And I know I'm gonna be able to write tomorrow because I don't feel fried. That is huge. And I'm really excited about pushing this a little bit more and seeing how, how much faster I can get at it so long as the quality still stays, you know, as quality as a first draft is ever gonna be. Speaking of, I have some questions. Is this what a zero draft is? I've heard people talk about this on AuthorTube a lot, the zero draft, and in my head, a zero draft was like a tell version of the story, like a word vomit summary, all the pieces are there, but there's like, no effort to make the prose good because you're just getting it all out. And I think that's honestly a brilliant idea. Is that what a zero draft is though? Am I interpreting this correctly? If you've ever done a zero draft or you know where the phrase even started, who started it, please let me know in the comments down below. The word game changer gets thrown around a lot, but honestly, I think this is a game changer for me. And yeah, again, thank you, Rachel Aaron. I just can't say it enough. It definitely feels really weird to vlog like all my other videos up till this point has just been me like this sitting in front of the camera and talking and I have prepared what I'm going to say um, and while I thought about sort of what I wanted to talk about today I didn't plan anything out I didn't outline it um, also just I'll go ahead and say it getting b-roll feels really weird <laughs> setting up my camera to like film my hands typing and film me drinking or even capturing footage of me doing this right now. But the cool thing is that it didn't slow down my writing. I didn't spend so much time fussing with all the cameras and worrying about what I was gonna say and so that I didn't have a productive writing day. It was actually the best writing day, <laughs> word count wise, I've maybe ever had. I don't know if I've ever broken 5,000 words before, so yeah. If you like the vlogging thing, let me know down below. If you want me to Stick to the instructional videos, let me know down below. I hope you guys are having a great and productive week and I will see you on Monday with another video. Bye.